Thanks for joining us at 6. At Color 10, we're helping families in need today. It's made possible through a partnership with hy V. As part of our Putting the Ozarks First Food Drive, we're raising money for three local charities. My co-anchor, Bailey Stroll, is live at the hy V on East Sunshine this evening, showing how you can help. Yes, hey Steve, we are raising money to help keep food on the table for families, not just this holiday season, but really year round. The charities we're raising money for is Convoy of Hope, Ozarks Food Harvest, and Cross Lines. And there are a few ways that you can get involved. First, if you're comfy, comfy on your couch tonight and you don't want to get up and come to a high V location, you can always donate. Uh, on our website, OzarksFirst.com, and you can choose one of the three charities that you want to donate to. But if you are out and about tonight, it was good weather earlier today at least, you can stop by any Hive View location, doesn't have to be the one on East Sunshine, and pick up one of these bags. You can scan here either $5 or $10, and that money will go directly to those charities and then to people in need right here in our community. Or if you just want to shop for families, you can donate any non-perishable food items, these blue bins, are at the front of the store and you can just drop them in there as you leave. So please think about donating to our effort, putting the Ozarks first. And coming up in a little bit, we'll share some more insight on where those donations will go. Steve? All right, Bailey Stroll live tonight. We'll be checking back in with Bailey in a few minutes. Green County families facing insecurities, whether on the table or under the tree, are turning to cross lines for support this holiday season. Color 10's Parker Paget is live at Crosslines detailing their upcoming Christmas distribution day. Yeah, I talked to a worker here and a volunteer about their efforts and how they're giving back to the community by putting the Ozarks first. Workers and volunteers at Crosslines are prepping for one of their biggest days of the year. This is our last week to get in on the Christmas distribution at the fairgrounds, and we'll be doing that on December 16th. Uh, where each family will be getting multiple toys for each child as well as a full day's grocery list. So their breakfast, their lunch, their dinner, a dessert item, all those things will be covered in that distribution. It's a yearly tradition providing struggling Greene County families with a worry-free Christmas. It looks like oatmeal type things for breakfast, brownies for dessert, canned fruits and vegetables, stuffing, jello, cranberry sauce, a full frozen turkey, bread, milk, eggs, butter. Last year we gave away toys to about 2,000 kids. I'd say we're on track for those same numbers this year. Um, I would want to say that that's somewhere around 1,600 families would be my guess. As the list of families to support grows, the need for volunteers increases as well. To actually pull off our holiday distribution takes around 600 volunteers on the day of and multiple hundreds of volunteers throughout the weeks before to get all of this food prepped and packaged and bagged into family sizes. Um, and th that includes half of, of the families we serve will be deliveries. Volunteers, including Deb Stratman, say they get a lot out of helping. I absolutely recommend that. It changes you. Changes you for the better. I'm told people interested in volunteering can go to their website, which we have that website with this story online at OzarksFirst.com. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.